Welcome back to What RT Noobs. This is a Pagetto 46. It's the Tier 8 Italian Premium Medium. It's located on the north spawn of Rheinberg and it's under the command of Boudicca the Brutal. Now it's got a 90mm gun, auto reloader. It's capable of doing 240 alpha and penetrating 212 with the standard AP and with the APCR 259. And Boudicca's elected to go straight away to the APCR. She's got half and half, or, well, close to half and half. A mixture of premium and standard rounds. Of course, you'll do more damage with the APCR because you'll get more pens. But, uh, well, she likes using the APCR on the uh, Progetto. And, well, if she works for her, let her do it. Okay, she's got three shells ready to go. Mixture of light tanks and mediums in the field already. Okay, who's next? Who's first? Well, there's a M41 Bulldog moving about, but he's below the ridge line. Here comes Eudis. One in. Two in. She fires the third one in, but it ricochets off the hull of the Eudis. And she's staying behind the bushes now. Nobody from the enemy team trying to get into the pocket. And she's got a T-54E14 um, a company. Loaded two. One, well, loaded two now. Took a round from the Bulldog, unfortunately. Got too close, actually, there. IU-251 behind her. That Bulldog's going to stay out far enough away and then just pop in when he needs to. Okay, she's going to get the 251. Nice. She just fires one into him. Doesn't go for more. Not greedy. Oh, good shot to the Carnarvon. Right into the side of the turret. She was lucky there. She fired all three on the off chance that she did get the hits. But now she's on long reload. She's just establishing she's got that corner. She doesn't want the T-69 sort of like taking liberties. Is that 251? Yeah, he's moved back. The enemy 251's moved back. There she's got the Carnarvon again. She tracks him with the first round. Gets a hit with the second. And the third one, she kills him. So she got a first kill. And it's quite a good one, that, the Carnarvon. Oh, pressuring the enemy now. This is where it gets very difficult for them. She's sneaky first shot. Puts around into the T-54, goes for the kill, but she doesn't get it. Leaves him on 138. The T-69 can now finish him off. And he does. Okay, she's now got a 704. Waiting for the load. Oh, T-69 goes down in front of her. It was the Brask, I think, who did it. Or was it? No, it wasn't. It was the Udis. But the Brask is a one-shot, I think. Yes, he is. He is a one shot. She could go around the corner, but the 704 might spot her. Oh, took some round from that, Yudes. No, she can't go there. She has to go the other side. She does try and go the other side. She's Oh, and takes a round, a big round from the SU 130PM, and she got hit in the fuel tanks. That is really bad news because now she's down to less than half of her health. In fact, a third of her health. So she's having to pull back because she's got no support up there now. Ideally, she needs to fix the fuel tanks, but that that Barask is now going to possibly have a go at it. The Udes is. He's firing, still firing rounds into her. She needs to get behind these houses over here. Weaving. She's still spotted. Oh, takes another round from the Udes. And now she's just down to one hit point. One hit point is all she's got left to fight this battle. Oh, dear me. She's lost so much health. All the way down from 1,400 hit points to one. With repeated hits from the enemy. And of course, because it's a Progesso, it's got virtually no armor, which means even armor-piercing rounds are going to go straight through. And she's trying to get that Yudas using the Bush Mechanic. She can't see him. He's attacking the Striv. No, those rounds are probably not going to... Oh, she got him! Amazing! I didn't think those shells would actually hit, but she got him. And that's one of them. OK, 
Okay, waiting for the shells to go in. She's got three now. Now we're three tanks down on the enemy in this game. It's not looking good. Here comes the Brask. One shot. Lovely. Beautiful. Three shell uh, three kills now. She was seen, so she has to remain behind cover. There's still some nasty tanks out there, including that Udo 16. Oh, and the Lanson's coming towards her as well. We've lost the RT. Here comes the Lanson. Takes one. Two. Go for the third. Oh, she got tracked, but she didn't get damage other than the tracking. She's only got that one hit point. If he takes that away from her, she's out of the game. And bashing into that wreck of the Borsig would have, or if that was a Borsig, no, it was a Waffentrager, would have actually ended her game back in the day. But she ends the game with a 704 by shooting into his side. And now she's got two shells to reload. Still only three left on her team now. So unfortunate. So many of them died over there in the village. And oh, it's one on the corner. It's the Udas. She ducks back into cover quickly. She can't afford to let him get a shot into her. She's going to try. Yep, fires through the tree. Oh, she's now really being surrounded. She's going to try and poke out on this bush. The tree, actually. Fallen tree. Letting the shells go in. Where's the Udes? Oh, doesn't want to poke out more. And I don't blame her. That Emil is on a one shot. She might be able to take him out. In fact, it might be better for her to get alongside that um, MXM4. She's in the wreck for cover now. She might be able to get a shot on him in the town as he pokes that Emil. No sign of him yet. Of course, she's now worried about... She's got the units the other side of her as well. And... Well, the AMX is actually out of the game. I didn't spot that, but he was killed. And so she's now all alone against four enemy tanks. And I have the feeling the Udis is going to be sneaking up on her very shortly. So she needs to watch out. If she gets a proximity spot, she needs to move forward and get the hell out of there quick. Here comes the Emil. She gets one into him, kills him. But she was spotted. And that's an RT round just came in. I was very lucky because that splash from that arty could have killed her. And there's the Udas. And he's got more than enough. Oh, she could have killed him. And she does. Top gun. There's still two enemies left and they're both arty. She's weaving to try and avoid their shells. She could still win this. And there's one of the arty rounds coming in behind her. trouble is that the RT can now shotgun her and even if they get the shell near her she's going to be out of the game just like that so whether or not she'll be able to do this I don't know two marks on her barrel she's proving she's worth it the RT are a GW Tiger and an M53 M55 and of those, the M53, M55 is the most mobile. GW Tiger is based on the Tiger II, so it's quite slow, a bit sluggish. But that M53, M55, he's based on the M47 pattern, so he has got a lick of speed. And there he is, there's the GW. One in, two, can she get the kill? Yes, oh no! She took the kill. But just as she fired, the GW did as well with a snapshot. And she's lost. Yeah. Oh, well. Good try. Good try, but it was a defeat. Let's have a look at the end of battle results. It's an ace tanker for Boudicca the Brittle in the Progetto 46. She got a duelist, fire for effect, and eye for an eye out of that battle. Being the last kill, the GW Tiger, who got her at the same time. 
She picked up a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game and a top gun for getting at least six kills. She actually ended up with seven, one short again in Radley's, which she would have got if she killed the M53, M55. But sadly, it wasn't to be on this occasion. If we look at the team score, she got the highest damage with 4,341 hit points. The next high scorer was the Object 704 with 3584. And after him, it was the Emil 1 with 3,015. When it came to kills, she had the highest with seven. Four kills for the GW Tiger, which included her, and three kills for the Emil. And when it came to base XP, yep, she's got the top on. No, she hasn't got the top on that one. Sorry, I beg your pardon. The Emil managed to get the highest base XP. He got 1,041. And then it's Boudicca with 1,016 because she was on the losing team. But she did so well in terms of damage. She actually scored a higher base XP than the rest of the enemy team after the Emil won. Get that. That's something. Let's have a look at detail. 27 shots fired, 25 direct hits, 22 penetrations, damage of 4,341 hit points, of which 402 were at more than 300 meters. She received six hits from the enemy, five penetrations, one non-penetration, and two hits by way of splash damage. And two, uh, sorry, three enemy vehicles spotted, 11 enemy vehicles damaged, seven killed, and 1,684 hit points of damage assist. On a premium count, she earned 84,276 credits and got 7,200 for achievements, and the total came to 137,214 credits. After repair and ammunition resupply, and even though she fired a huge amount of APCR in that game, she still came out ahead with 33,399 credits profit. 1,016 XP. 553 for the Achievements Award, that's for getting an, an Epic or a Battle Hero Medal in a losing or a drawn game. 235 for this being a premium vehicle and took away 2,589 experience points altogether. So a very worthy game for a two-marked Progetto. Unfortunately, it just didn't happen in the end because that GW had snapshot, or he probably had it in anyway, he tried a very, very quick shot in her direction. And because she had so little in the way of hit points, she wasn't going to get it. But she put up a, a really good fight, a really good fight to try and win that game. And uh, But for the fact she came out into the field to get the GW, uh, unfortunately, that's where she lost it. But there you go. It probably would have happened with the M53, M55. If she just bumped into him in the town, I think it's more than likely she would have gone out the game that way as well. She only had one hit point left, and it's terribly difficult to win a game with just one hit point. I've seen it done, but it normally ends up with a loss because you only need to nudge the enemy vehicle or even just put an HE round near them, and they die. But she'll do it again in another occasion. So well done, Boudicca. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel, please. And thanks for watching.